editing videos with vmix that sounds really strange i would personally be really skeptic and you should be too now i'm guessing that you already know what vmix kind of is it is basically a recording live streaming software that doesn't have any editing capabilities in it whatsoever normally you use davinci resolve adobe premiere movie cutter or any other form of real editing software that you're basically putting clips together and cutting here and there. Editing videos with vMix. I guess you truly don't believe me, but let me show you 10 seconds of this video. <laughs> you know what? Here is another one. Here's a third one, and to all of my CDH TV followers, here you go, enjoy. Play a City of Brass, play a Soul Ring, I'll play a Chrome Mock, Axion Probe, and I'll cast Ristic Study like a boss. <laughs> As the turn. Did you notice how smooth the transitions in that video was? How the music were flowing into it and that there was a green screen popping up in it as well? What if I actually told you, would you believe it or not, that those two videos, one of them is 10 minutes long and the other one is 16 minutes long, are 100% done inside vMix only. No edit in DaVinci Resolve, no edit in Adobe Premiere. I basically click a button, things are happening and then the video just ends and it's a complete video that I just upload to YouTube directly. And in this video, I'm going to show you how they are actually done. Let me actually rephrase that. I'm going to show you a part of how I edit videos inside vMix because this concept that I'm trying to like educate you on here is really broad and there's a lot of different features inside vMix that I'm using. So in the end, this video would be really long and widen out in unnecessary parts that you don't might need. So instead, I'm going to show you a groundwork on how to basically do the big thing. And from there, depending on what form of production that you're doing, you could look at other videos I might be suggesting up in the top right corner that could help you more depending on what form of production you are doing. And in the future, as this is a really big subject, I might make more parts of this concept in the future talking about other things that I'm doing to edit my videos inside vMix. I would also like to make a big, big disclaimer. I'm currently also editing on DaVinci Resolve because there are certain things that vMix can't do and then I have to use DaVinci Resolve or DaVinci Resolve is just more efficient and faster than vMix and therefore I use DaVinci Resolve. Now you can, of course, if you're using Adobe Premiere, that would be your solution. But I'm using vMix in these circumstances that I'm going to show you because in these circumstances it just goes faster. So let's get down to business. Now we're inside vMix. Let's go to add input down in the corner. Let's go to instant replay. Let's just check on these things. Now, I'm guessing you already know a tiny bit about what instant replay is. If you don't know what it is, I will tell you that you already probably know what it is. If you watched any form of e sports, let's say football, basketball, MMA, eSport, any form of sports, you have seen instant replay being used. What it is is basically that you are recording the entire thing and you are can go back to certain specific points, highlights that would be, and look at them. And this is, can also be done in slow motion. You know, you see a sport ball being thrown, you see a, a MMA boxing, you see someone box and you see the punch going in really slow motion. That is done with instant replay. It's a feature that's been around forever and you can find it elsewhere, even outside vMix. And this is how we're gonna do our edit. So now we have our instant replay, vMix replay A and vMix replay B down here in the, among the input. And then we can see this little thing popping up here, instant replay, and it creates this little bar, which is basically empty. Now, let me short explain what we're gonna do here with the vMix uh, instant replay trick. And it is a, it is a trick. We're using a, a feature for another purpose instead of what it's actually being used for, because let me actually show you in real action. 
and to show you that you can do more than just gameplay videos in a really fast and efficient way, here I have a bunch of basically me going out and filming with my camera inside the forest with some snow around it. We're gonna create a, a B-roll with some forest snow. I'm gonna sh tell you in advance, I'm not a great f filmer or a great photographer, so the quality of the things that I've been photographing here and filming aren't superb, but let's just look at the method here, okay? And then we bring all these snow video clips into the mix, as you can see down there. So let me explain a little bit about how Instant Replay works. So here I have a short key on my Stream Deck. I click on this and you see the red circle thing down there is starting on a red light. And if you click this thing, it goes off and this wing oh, go on again. So this is basically now recording continuously all the way. Now we have a bunch of hotkeys here as well. So I click Mark In. So now you see Mark and the In is there, which means it's currently boxing in something. Let's click this thing. And now you can see that I have down there in the little area, I have a duration of 6.84 second boxed in video. And if we click events and then go play all, let's watch that. We are suddenly watching what I have recorded. So now here I have boxed in a bunch of different parts of forest. I basically just started the clip. I was playing through it and in parts here and there, I clicked on my hotkey that I have pre-programmed on this Elgato Stream Deck. You can see hotkeys examples how you create this. And I mark in, I start a semi box in and I mark out and I stop the box in. And eventually I have, uh, I have a clip here that is 2.8 seconds, then 2.4 seconds and 3.43 seconds. So let's go to play events and play all. And you notice that we are now watching them one by one all through and they are transitioning smoothly. And of course, I, like I mentioned before, I'm not a professional photographer. You're probably better than me at this, but this is how I've squeezed together a few of these videos. Let's make an example of how we're going to edit a Hearthstone gameplay. Because I did kind of promise that in the beginning of the video. Now, normally I wouldn't appear in the gameplay video like this, and I wouldn't have that big thing over there as well. But let me just showcase, you see the red thing continuously recording. I click mark in and it starts to record and I click mark out and a cool thing appeared. Now let's do it a little bit more professionally. So we're sitting here, we're waiting for our opponents to do something. And now I intend to do something on my turn, which I'm gonna like program into this. So I'm clicking mark in, I'm putting this into play, I'm clicking end turn and I'm clicking mark out here. Then it's my turn again to do something. So I think for a while I click mark in, I play this and I create this little eagle. I play this thing for funsies and that was a stupid thing because it's gonna have a long effect duration. Let's click this thing, let's cast that thing, let's click end turn and mark out. My turn again, I click mark in, I click attack on this thing, attack here, I attack here, I try to play as quick as possible, I do this and do that and let's go beam on one of my creatures, let's play this thing, end turn and click mark out again. Now I think this example is kind of finished. Let's click mark in and let's go to concede and let's die because I think this example is finished and let's end the recording mark out. We can also add in a little bit short on this defeat thing. So I'm gonna click on mark in. I'm gonna wait for a while, just sitting here la 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 and then go mark out. Now we're back here inside the instant replay and we can see that I have a bunch of boxed in segments. I have 2.6 seconds, I have a 12, or actually this is pretty much 13 seconds, this is almost 14, and then four seconds at the last. So let's click on play all and watch the entire thing. And as you can see, I am talking, but you're seeing what I've marked in so far. Clean transitions here and there. It actually has a really beautiful transition where it just smoothly fades in. And I, I guess I shouldn't have done this long sequence thing either. Choosing that and end turn and watch this mark out. It's, oh, it has this beautiful transition season, transition sequence in there. Doing stupid decisions just to showcase and play fast to entertain. I don't know what I'm doing actually. I, I don't play this bad normally. And then we go to the concede, we click that thing. You can't hear what I'm saying in the video, but we can fix that. And then the end scene, I'm still saying things. This is basically us to have a showcase of the victory and, and things. And, and we're back here. As you can see, once the play all is finished, it goes back to the original 
uh, input that you were operating on. To add audio, all you need to do is click the audio here on the vMix replay A and B. So let's navigate through this little Elgato Stream Deck for a bit. We click this thing here and let's click on this hotkey. Hey, hey that's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. And let's click Don't. this hotkey. And let's Woo click this hotkey. And also let's click on this hotkey. Yeah, you should extra take an extra look at this one. So what I have here is a bunch of overlay effects, which I've actually made a video about. You can take a look at it. It's something that is completing what I'm trying to talk about right now. So while you're watching the entire play all, you can record what you are looking at as you're watching the entire play all. So if you do a little bit more professional the inboxing, making prof more better clips, because I've just been make, showcasing examples. When you do it professionally, you hit better things, but while you are watching it, you can sit there hey, and click on these good. overlay effects that is popping up during the recording, which means that you're editing in green screen cool effects into your finished productive video. Then we have this thing, and, and this is not what I'm trying to like promote here. There are so many different variants of ways that you can get music into your production, but this is kind of how I like to do it. This is a virtual DJ is for free. Click this thing and it's playing music. And let's put this thing here. Let's uh, remove the download audio so we don't crash your ears. Let's click play and let's, let's transition it smoothly to the next track below it. Let's remove the top one with a new song. Let's click play and let's move it slower to that one. So while you're sitting there and recording the video that you're looking at, that you've boxed in continuously, you can also sit here and DJ or just put music into basically your VMix production. And you're putting music into your complete video that you are editing now with VMix. And that's it for this video. That was basically the core concept of how you kind of edit your videos inside vMix. Now, I've made more videos about this. For example, here is a video that is called Better Overlays for vMix. And here I showcase how you make a trigger system so that you start recording the moment you're starting to watch the video. Like I've been showcasing in this video, you start watching the play all, you start recording. And when you get to the end of that, that segment, it moves to another screen, which is your end screen, which I'm showcasing right now in this video actually. And then it stops the recording. So if you have more questions and like how you wanna set that up, here's a video for you. But this is something more of a concept. And in the future, I guess I'm going to make more videos on the different other tricks that you can do to edit your videos, depending on what form of video that you are doing. But once more, I would like to re-mention the disclaimer and say that no, this is not replacing editing completely. For example, this video that you've currently watched was indeed made inside DaVinci Resolve as you can see. But I don't know, maybe there's something here that you could utilize depending on what form of production that you're doing. In any case, if you got any questions around this subject, feel free to drop one of those questions in the comments below and I will try my best to answer those questions. Take care guys, and I'll see you in the next video.